Hey everyone, Christopher here again with 3DO Gaming. And I'm here tonight to show off a little bit more of the Retroid Pocket 2. And today I'm going to go into some N64 emulation. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Again, this is the Retroid Pocket 2. It comes in six different colors. It's got a quad-core 1.5 gigahertz processor. Very nice machine. I'm actually still in love with this machine. Great build quality on it, great feel, good weight. Enough buttons on there. So let's go ahead and open it up and we're gonna load up N64 old again. And again, there's no ROMs included on the machine. You have to load them up yourself. But let's start today with GEX64. For all my 3DO fans, this is uh, a 3DO original character and probably the best known one to come off the system. Let's start up. Let's see how this one looks on the Retroid Pocket 2. So far running really well. Beat the Matterhorn, what are you gonna do? And I'm just gonna run through a little bit here and see how it goes. And running really good. Not getting any slowdown at all. Ouch. But so far everything's looking really good. Cannot complain. So yeah, that's Gex 64 on the N64. It looks great. Runs great, sounds great, no complaints. Let's go ahead and try out another game. Close. Oh. Close. And let's go down. Let's go to Rampage World Tour. And let's see, George, Lizzie, Ralph. Let's go with Lizzie today. While it's true that there have been no serious side effects reported so far, I think we need to stop production before. Oh! Going to Peoria, destroy all buildings to advance to the next city. Let's see how this looks. There's Lizzie. Yeah. And punch some buildings. Take out a plane. And everything looks good so far. Eating humans. <laughs> now everything looks good. It sounds great. Plays great. Controls are good. Oops. Climb this one. 
tear this building down. Fire still hurts. Peoria is totally destroyed. Clearly the creature's goal is to wipe scum labs from the face of the earth. Well, everything looks good on Rampage. Let's go ahead and try out another game. Let's see, let's go to something a little faster. Let's go to Wave Race 64. This game was one of the first games that I fell in love with with the N64. I loved the graphics, the water. I don't know of a game before this that had water like that. Let's just warm up. Let's just race around and see what it looks like. Let's just go in there and see what happens. <clears throat> Dolphin Park. Welcome to Dolphin Park. Warm up time. Follow that dolphin. Let's take it for a spin and see how it is. Oops. I'm still playing good. Can't complain about that. Looks great. Still as fun as I remember. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, everything in here looks great. Um, this machine does N64 emulation really, really good. So, again, that's the Retroid Pocket 2. I'll put a link in the description if you are interested in picking up one um, for being a sub $100 retro handheld. I don't know of anyone that beats it. So, have a great night, guys, and I will see you uh, later this week with another review. Take care.